All right, so here we go. After literally over a year of waiting, even before I had the car, there it is. All right, so I didn't film it, but I got this off and oh my God, it's everything. Splitter, diffuser, front bumper, rear bumper. It's crazy. Got headlights, new headlights in the truck. This thing is gonna look insane. I've got everything out. Bumper looks clean. A little bit of dust on it, but it'll clean. Same with the rear. Got all the supporting like stuff. Got that free splitter, huh, huh? Got the side skirts. Got the new bumper foam, got a new diffuser, and the new headlights. This thing is gonna be a completely different car. Now I gotta take out these bolts, gotta go in the fender well, take out bolts, gotta go underneath, take out bolts, and then we're good. All right, so I just peeled back the uh, that foam that was covering this. You gotta take out these T30s, then you gotta go underneath and take out eight millimeters underneath the uh, bumper, and then more eight mils, I believe, in here. Yeah, they're eight mils. So yeah, might have to jack up the car, I don't know. All I know is that thing looks so damn good. It's gonna look so good on the car, can't wait. So I just took the pictures I'm gonna post on Instagram right before I reveal the car, um, making it look like it's totaled. That dent, and that is real. I got in a little fender bender, but I had already ordered this, so it was no big deal. I just had to end up ordering a new bumper brace, which is right there, that steel thing. But yeah, the pictures look like I got coolant. Well, it's not coolant, I dumped water out. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks bad. <laughs> just got the bumper off. Just gotta take out this metal thing. You normally don't have to do this, but uh, when you uh, crash your car, you kinda have to, so yeah. Oops. All right, just got the first factory headlight out. It was a pain to get to that bolt right there, because you gotta reach around. But yeah, I'm gonna install the aftermarket one and see the difference, then I gotta transfer bulbs because they say the ones in, in the aftermarket aren't as good as the stock ones. But I wanted the aftermarket for the uh, halos anyway, so that's all good with me. Just got that headlight out. I had issues with the nut spinning and unfortunately I broke the old housing. It's fixable though and I have new ones. Uh, now we're removing the dented bumper. I took out the screws. This one was stuck, had to use PV Blaster. And uh, then you just kind of smack it with a hammer. And you give it a smack here. And there you go. Your bumper's out. Now I'm having issues fitting this on properly. So uh, we got the good old board and the good old hammer and we're just gonna, oh. I literally just kicked it. Now that one's more stuck. Yeah, I'll have to hammer it, but yeah. We'll see if we can get that on. All right, so it's the next day. Um, I don't know if I should get the headlights out, but I did. Um, I went to put the front bumper on, but uh, this was damaged in the accident, so I'm trying to pull it out, but there's two little screws down in there where I have to pull the radiator out in order to get at. And here's the rear bumper off. Literally just pulled that off like a minute ago. So yeah, you can see my line right here that runs to my uh, valve switch. It's all tucked underneath this piece. So yeah, now I have to uh, look into getting the new one on. Welcome back to a very rainy 
day three. Yeah, three. It's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> last night, there's my dinner chilling on the hood. Last night, um, ran into some trouble with that. I already explained. But got the side skirts on and kind of ish got the bumper on. I'm having some issues fitting the uh, the diffuser on it properly it like needs to the bumper needs to go down a little bit and then the diffuser needs to like kind of curve up so uh yeah there's that see all my dirty handprints from yesterday on it but it'll all clean out the paint match is freaking amazing like you can't really there's a little bit of difference but um i do have like ceramic wax on there and like high gloss whatever i have a bunch of stuff on the paint so it's gonna look different also it's what seven years older than this this was painted like a month ago so yeah i'm having some fitment issues you can see there's the uh, holes and the uh, plastic behind there is where the uh, the actual i guess frame of the car is versus where the bumper is so i have that much to move this does flex a little bit but i have a feeling when i clipped it all in here and kind of hand tightened in those bolts um it wasn't kind it wasn't sitting right so i'm gonna see what i can do and uh, i'll bring you guys along and i'll look at that beautiful thing so i got that tightened down um got the other side tightened down it was a lesson in, in uh just sitting down letting it sit and wait so i got that in no problem um this though this diffuser oh that was a pain to install though you pretty much have to get the center in and then you put in the screws in the bottom to keep it still then you put in the snaps on the other sides because the whole thing kind of has to bow up. But once it's on, oh my gosh, that looks good. I got the, uh, I got everything installed except for that headlight washer. Oh, there's a frog. No, no, no. Yeah, there's where we at. We got the kidneys in, the M3 style, double slatted. We got both the fog lights in. We got the middle part. All right, so it's actually like day five. Um, yeah, wow, look at that, it's already on. Yesterday, my boy Brock came over, we pulled out the uh, the, sh the bumper brace, we uh, put in the new one, mounted up a bunch of stuff, put in all these covers and all that, and put in the headlights. They look so good, but this sucks. See that? You can barely see any light, and it like, doesn't really project at all. Stock these HIDs in these, but they don't fit in the new housings, and I really like the look of the new housings. It just really pulls the car together. So, um, I bought upgraded HIDs at AutoZone. We'll see if there's any, if it's any better. And if not, then uh, I'm gonna see if I can find an LED conversion kit because these things look so good. Not only the halos, but the black housing. So those are good. The, uh, the bulbs in there are trash. I actually ordered these. These are sequential turn signals that are smoked. So we're gonna install that at some point. I'm not sure when. I stopped by BMW, picked up new emblem, some bolts and screws I needed. And then this was for the headlights. Mine was actually cracked from actually before I even bought the car. We're gonna change that out, get this headlight mounted properly. Cause as you can tell, it's kind of sagging and that's why the bumper's not hooked up there. And then we'll go from there and see how it does. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to work. First thing though, I'm gonna do those bolts. They have this easy access for the back of the headlight, but it's a pain um, to get to the other one. So I might end up pulling the headlights again or see if I can go in through the back or something. We got it all mounted. I had to go to the hardware store and get these sheet metal screws because they would work and one of them stripped out, which is perfect because these are a little bit coarser threading. So yeah, here's the, uh, here's the fitment. As you can see, the, uh, I mean, there's no bumper trim in there, but it should probably move up a little bit. It's looking good. I just need to button up some stuff on the sides and we should be good to go. That's just the splitter in this car is done, dude. <laughs> we got it, we got it to here. Um, there's still a gap, especially on that side. The whole headlight actually needs to tilt up on the passenger side here. Um, but it looks good. So here's the uh, first startup. <laughs> There we are, out in the light. Holy crap. The bumper's still not aligned right. You shouldn't be seeing this gap here. So I need to lift it all up, but I need to, this headlight is sagging. I could put a finger in there and this one is pretty much perfect. And it's not, that's just from bending the bracket. It looks insane. Now, not, now it just looks stupid because of the wheels. It's lower in wheels and it will be like beauty. 
So I know this has been very jumpy. This is now the final day when we got all this installed, but it's night. So what happened is uh, this wasn't seated right. I worked for a couple, like probably an hour trying to get my hood aligned. That's pretty good. And as you can see, I got the bumper aligned. I actually drove to my friend's work and we lifted up the head like he held it, held it up while I uh, like screwed in here and here to make sure, because that, that, that bracket when I removed the stock headlight um, actually ended up getting bent. But uh, let's just take a moment to take this in. I gotta clean up the, uh, the lip, and then I gotta put on the uh, front splitter. So let's go do that. It's on. It uh, I ended up having to drill, uh, what, four holes, two in the middle and then two that mount to this in the stock bumper, and then the rest are big, like bigger holes, and I just ran zip ties through it. And uh, it's, it's on there. 